Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. Um, we got big time trouble. Now here's an article by Michael Moore, and I will show you the website that goes along with this after I get done here. Michael Moore is planning essentially a nation, not a nationwide, a worldwide revolt on Inauguration Day. I said a worldwide revolt. This is virtually guaranteed to turn violent. Frankly, I've had it. I've said, these people pop off, start turning violent, we're going to start popping off cats. I don't care. I don't care anymore. This is what we have Second Amendment for. This is sedition. And if our government won't enforce the law, we will. Michael Moore, who predicted Donald Trump would win the presidency months before his surprise victory, is now encouraging people to protest the president-elect's upcoming inauguration. This up the inauguration, the majority has spoken by nearly 2.7 million votes and counting silence is not an option. Moore treated Wednesday. This, by the way, is sedition. Uh... Website state there's disrupt J twenty, which I'm going to show you. Uh, they are promising a worldwide attack on our cities and our uh, embassies worldwide and so forth. There's almost no possibility this will be peaceful. I don't see how it could be. I, for one, am getting ready because okay, disrupt J twenty is their uh, Twitter website states we can call on all people good conscience to join in disrupting the ceremonies. If Trump is to be inaugurated at all. Let it be happen to claim. What happened behind closed doors showing the true face of the security state Trump will preside over? Must be made clear to the whole world that the vast majority of people in the United States do not support his presidency or consent to his rule. Hogwash. That is a lie. Disrupt J20 is planning DC based protests on the day of Trump's inauguration, but also asks people to protest on the streets wherever you are. Social Justice Organization also calls for worldwide action. If you are living outside the U.S., you can take action at U.S. embassies, borders, or other symbols of neo-colonial power. Our allegiance is not to make not making America great again, but to all of humanity and planet. Pound disrupt J20. Okay, so let's take a look at them. Right here they are, disruptj20.org. Call for bold mobilization against inauguration of Donald Trump on January 20th, 2017. That is sedition, and it is treason. They should be arrested immediately uh, on that grounds. We call all, for all people good conscience joining disrupting ceremonies. This is sedition. Folks, they are calling for a revolution. I'm warning you. Now, I can't predict what's going to happen. And that's what they're calling for is a revolution. So let's take a look at there about who's behind this. Pound Disrupt J20 is supported by the works of D.C. Welcoming Community Collective ex of Experienced Local Activists a lot of work grave diggers acting with national support. We're building a framework for, needed for mass protests to start, shut down the inauguration of Donald Trump, planning worldwide, widespread direct actions to make that happen. We're also providing... <coughs> sorry about that. We're also providing uh, services like housing, food, and legal assistance to anybody who wants to join us. 
DC Welcoming Community is not funded by any nonprofits, isn't connected to any political parties, bullshit. Rejects all forms of domination and oppression, especially those based on race, class, gender, organi organizes by consensus and embraces diversity of atta uh, tactics. What are you planning? We're planning a series of massive direct actions. That's called a re revolt. They'll shut down the inauguration ceremonies and any related celebrations, inaugural parade, inaugural balls, you name it. We're also planning to paralyze the city itself using blockades and marshes to stop traffic and even public transit. And hey, because we like fun, we're even going to throw some parties. We have information on... We'll have information soon on how you can plug into specific direct actions, but if you're coming to town looking for one place to go, come to McPherson Square on Friday, January 20th, starting at 9 a.m. We'll be gathering there to launch actions to regroup through the day. What is direct action? Action. Direct action is where you take collective action, make social change, without giving power over to authority or middle person. We don't ask permission or put our faith in electoral politics. Instead, we use our bodies to stop the smooth operation of the system we oppose. This is a revolt. Examples of direct action include ongoing resistance at Standing Rock against the Dakota Access Pipeline, the street and highway blockades of Black Lives Matters, or the occupations of public squares during the Occupy Wall Street. Uh, these are communists, folks. I've been warning and warning about this. These are communists. They are planning a communist revolt. If you care anything about your country, you're going to have to be ready to go. Because we cannot allow this to stand. You're not going to get any help from your elected representatives either. You're going to have to be out on the streets, folks. Uh, that's all there is to it. Get out in the streets and get ready because just prepare this is a communist revolution that's going on. This really doesn't even have anything to do with Donald Trump anymore. These are communists who want to take over the government. It is sedition beyond belief. And they're putting their uh, words into action. This isn't a bunch of liberals sitting there talking shit. Uh, we're in so much trouble here. And we don't have anybody in government who's willing to take action to stop this. This should be stopped before it even gets started. Their leaders should be arrested for sedition and treason, and they should be shut down immediately. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So stand by. You patriots, if you can go to D.C., I don't know what to tell you. Pack your long guns. I don't know. It's hard to go there with your long guns when you'd be arrested. This is an attack on our country's capital, folks. Among other cities and installations, even worldwide installations. This is an attack on our country. We are in a state of communist revolution right now. You've, am I getting through to people? I hope so. Take this video and copy it. Copy it, copy it, copy it. Put it out any way you can. We are in a state of communist revolution right now. Even if we get past, this is January, uh, December 19th, and we had the electoral college vote. I don't expect it to uh, go any different much different than what it was expected to. These people are planning to take over the country.
right at our most vulnerable time at the inauguration. That, that is an act of war. They're planning on shutting down the whole city. That is an act of war. But we can't get anybody in government to take this seriously and stop these people from doing this. Their leaders should be arrested immediately and be sent to the Iron Bar Motel awaiting trial on at least charges of sedition. They're talking about taking over the whole country. And you'll live in an oppressive communist state like they do in North Korea if these scumbags are successful. You patriots, I've told you before, get out there and buy your guns. Because you're going to need them. Now you still think I'm paranoid? It's right here in black and white. We are planning a mass series of massive direct actions that will shut down the Republican the inauguration ceremonies and any related celebrations. We are all planning to paralyze the city itself. That is an act of war. We don't have anybody back us up. If this is going to be stopped, it'll have to be stopped by the people. I'm sorry. There's no other way to put this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God.